Hi, welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten. So today I have made some hot glue gun stencils. But what I've done is I've not actually... Well, I made a few shapes and changed my mind. I've actually made a lot of kind of mark... What I would call more mark making. Um, shapes. And I've got some tissue paper just general tissue paper because I thought these would be good to use as collage on you know like transparent collage on top of other you know incomplete pictures so I'm starting with black but does it I don't know where this is going to go colour wise So these are some of these ones. These are like just big scribbles, great big squiggly squiggles. Some of them are bigger than others. Oh, I put that one in as a squiggle. I was kind of like, is it a line? Is it a squiggle? It's quite good because we'll actually get, we'll, we'll receive, we'll get some transparent block sections from, you know, removing the excess paint from the gel plate. And we'll also get, if the paint's still wet enough to pull, I do like the wee threads. Part of me thinks, should I take them away or not? But they can stay for just now. They'll probably come off in their own time naturally anyway. I haven't done these in ages because I had a rubbish glue gun. I had a good glue gun, I gave it to my daughter. Then I replaced it with a rubbish glue gun. So I've not really been making these, but I do love them. So I treated myself to a, a good glue gun again. Basically a gun that's bigger that takes, I used 11 millimeter glue sticks. Oh, I love these. I love this too. I could use matte medium to pull that so we're still getting the transparency, but... Right, this isn't the best brayer to be using to cover the whole of the gel plate. I love that. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. 
Okay. Let's do some of the lines this time. I'm purposely overlaying them because that was the idea when I made them. tried to give myself different weights but I'm not sure if it's obviously the lines themselves are all over the place with the way the glue gun works you know kind of blob spits out what I'm trying to say is it's not as easy to control that as you maybe think it might be there so the reason that I made them like this rather than making full stencils is so that I kind of I'm using the more lip masks where I can place them in different positions. There's a kind of dancing quality to them, isn't there? Do like overlapping effects on the gel plate. The other thing is you don't actually need to just make collage papers. I've got quite a few blah gel prints that I would I could put these over the top of we'll do that with the next one maybe dried a bit too much in places but we've still got some Look shadows of it. I am going to stick to the white just now because that's obviously a quite a neutral colour. Obviously. Oh, it's nice to have a bigger roller. There is something about having the line work in black though, isn't there? I just grabbed a pile. I'm not sure that that one shot of this will resolve it, resolve their issues. But we're going to try.
so we've left a bit on there, but that's okay. I just think that's beautiful. I think it's absolutely just gorgeous. Let me pull out a picture first, actually. Do you know, I have this that I made. Um, I just was repeatedly stamping with the Play-Doh stamps over and over and over um, just to see what would happen. Quite a lot and nothing basically happened. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to pull off the large black area because I'm thinking that that would, because that's so busy, then hopefully that would give us, um, so it'll highlight, the patterns on here will be highlighted instead of overwhelming. They're not meant to be together, but they kind of come off together, so. Let's use one of these. Mm, it won't really fit in though, will it? It might. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, right, here goes. I don't think, I think the U-shape will look out of place. And obviously the tissue paper will get into the nooks and crannies better than the printer paper that this is printed on does. But oh, I think it's done not a bad job at all. Right, that's definitely better to work with than it was. We've got some interesting shapes now. I decided to make little blobs because they leave interesting marks behind. So I have this I'm not sure again how much it'll pick up for us. gonna lie I prefer it on the tissue paper
let's have a look. I love how we're getting different amounts of the black. What I thought we could do was try and pull this again, but with a different colour. I think burnt sienna. These are all my little shapes that I made. Here we go. It's always going to look prettier on a fresh bit of paper because when you're layering, you're adding complexity. And so, and in this situation, we're using prints that I wasn't that happy with in the first place anyway. But also, I do think that layering is, um, like, these look good, but layering them takes them from good to, wow, I think. Now, that has worked out very well. Look at that. And see, because that black was down first. We've not just got plain shapes. We've got shapes that have got a little bit of depth in them. I'm happy with that. Much happier than I was with just the black on it. Now, the only thing is, is I have got quite a lot of paint left here in comparison to when I've used the black. But also, that one we used before, actually, that's got green diamonds on it, so that might work well. I'm going to turn it this way, just so that that kind of more expressive piece is on top of these. Right, that paint was quite wet, so I'm going to give it a wee minute. I quite like that. It's 
certainly got a good start, much better than it was. Right, just stick to the white. I'm quite liking the look of this actually. I'm kind of tempted to use white next. And what to do with this is the second pull, once I've removed the stencils, to put on this one. It would be nice if we could actually make a kind of a final picture. If this bit here sticks again, I will take baby oil to it, I think. Well, it's doing better. Sometimes removing the gel plate from the paper instead of the paper from the gel plate can help get bits that keep sticking off. Okay, I think I missed the drama of the black with it. Still good. Right, we're doing white this time, aren't we? I think that wee bit there was a bit sticky, but apart from that, it was fine. done all of these? I think we have. Well, we'll just do them again. Let's use this. Maybe white wasn't the best colour, but then it'll probably show through the next time, won't it? Hmm. 
Right, here goes. Please don't ruin yourself. Right, I am going to let that sit for five minutes because there's a lot of acrylic paint on that already and I would like it to pull most of it up. I think if I'd use tissue paper first, then like you can see there, we would have pulled out more from within the shapes, within the scribble marks that I made. But then maybe the mixture will be nice. Right, I'm tempted to put some... Mm, oh, should we do green or black next with this one? I think black because I quite like the greens quite in the background and the sienna and the, a little bit of the black only are doing the you know, the line work. Okay, this one's had about 10 minutes. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I feel like, see if the white had been less messy around there like as if I if I'd done the sort of second pull where they've came out like that uh, but I wouldn't have got it I would have had to put paint on to do that or I could have used that medium right I'm paving right let's Put what colour? Turquoise blue. Because it's fabulous colour. Although there won't be burnt sienna on this, will there? Right, I put far too much paint on here, so what I'm going to do is I'll just touch it quickly with the printer paper and pull it back off. There. And now we've got a lovely solid colour for collage. I need to do more collage actually, I haven't done it in such a long time. See, since I've got the water mixable oil paints, I've kind of been neglecting everything because I love them so much. I can feel that's still quite wet. That's going to take a while to lift. Never mind. They're like funny little creatures. Oh, I'm going to need to let that sit. It's a bit blah, but do you know that's, that, 
I've got one, two kind of, three, all the same colour with different designs been on in it. And actually I'm thinking of lifting the crack in here. But I'm totally distracting from the hot glue stencils, am I? I'm going to go back to that. We are Or maybe we should leave the cracking on and just let's put on my my big ones that we haven't used yet. I use the triangles. I don't think so. Let's do that. Hey, look. Some nice cracking in there. Crackle, even. Do you know what I love about the tissue paper, apart from it goes in the nooks and crannies? I love that you can see what's going on underneath it. Because you can see where the paint's still lying. I'm going to put it on this. I'm happy with that. Might as well use the burnt sienna as soon as it's out. Thinner layer. Okay.
Well, they've got a few here that I haven't used yet, so I think we should put them down. I'm just going for it. This is nice. I probably could have left it down a wee bit longer, but it's fine. I like the way that's going up into there. Let's do that on this one. That's 
pretty nice. I was hoping more of it would have transferred at this stage. Still interesting. Kind of makes me think of bones. Right, one more. One more because I can't walk away. makes me think of a bird slightly. Let's do you this way. That's fabulous. I'm actually going to let that one dry and then pull it with the white.
Okay, while that one's on, we'll have a wee look at what we've made. Let's be honest, we love the black and white the best, don't we? Although, I am taking with this. And this one, if I just stopped with the burnt sienna, that would have been... I would have really liked that. This has turned out lovely. As is this. It's also nice to have different variations of the same thing. pleased with these. I think they've turned out very well. Maybe could have got away with a minute longer. Would have been good. But yeah, happy with that. They give you lots of, um, you know, like you've got a lot of black here and you've got less here. It does give a, a, an illusion of like 3D, being 3D. And you can control that by how much, how close to the edges of these glue gun stencils you're pressing. Maybe even tissue paper is going to remove more of the black around the edges and, you know, thicker paper will remove less. So that's one way to control it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and take care and I hope to see you soon. Bye and thanks for watching.